What's up everybody, Gundam Flexing here. In this video, we'll go over special forces and special units in the Gundam universe. These expert military units are specifically trained to conduct special operations and conduct military activities outside of conventional warfare. They are specifically designated, organized, trained, equipped, manned with selected personnel, and armed with unique mobile suits. Most of the list will consist of Universal Century Timeline units as that was a mostly conventional war with the longest ongoing timeline in the Gundam franchise. Number 1 is one of my personal favorites, the Cyclops Team. This is a Principality of Xeon's Special Forces unit active during the One Year War. This elite team was featured in the Gundam OVA War in the Pocket. It is in this OVA where you could find some of the coolest Gundam battle scenes such as the assault on the Federation's Antarctic base. Despite failing in their assigned mission to destroy the Gundam Alex, this six-member team did manage to cause widespread mayhem against Federation forces. Number 2 is a special forces unit from Earth Federation forces called Londo Bell. Londo Bell was formed after the first Neo-Zeon War and was created to replace the Titans, the antagonists of the Mobile Suit Gundam anime series. This unit was most notably led by Bright Noah and had famous one-year war veterans such as Amuro Ray, Otto Midas, and Ridhe Marcinus. Despite being held in constant suspicion by Federation High Command, this group would later be called to duty in the anticipation of the Second Neo-Zeon War. Number 3 is the Soul Braves, an elite group of mobile suit pilots from the Earth Sphere Federation forces. This six-member group exists in the Anno Domini timeline and can be found in the Gundam Double Zero movie Awakening the Trailblazer. Led by ace pilot Graham Acker, a pilot who stunned Gundam Meisters with his combat skills and talent, the Soul Braves mobile suits were all test type GNX903 Braves. At the end of their short one year existence, the Soul Braves teamed up with ESF forces and Celestial Being to fight a common threat, the extraterrestrial living shapeshifters. All but three Brave mobile suits survived the battle. Number 4 is the White Bingo Team, a four man elite Earth Federation force unit primarily deployed in Australia during the one year war. This was one of the best, well-equipped units in the Earth Federation forces, outfitted with personally customized mobile suits. Originally featured in the video game Mobile Suit Gundam Rise from the Ashes, this team was part of the Federation campaign to take back Australia after the fall to Xeon. It was during this campaign in which the team discovered and destroyed a Xeon bioweapon called Aseroth. Number 5 is a 10-member Federation team called the Phantom Sweep Corps. As part of the name suggests, this group was responsible for mopping up Xeon Remnant forces on Earth after the One Year War. Xeon Remnants would often carry out guerrilla attacks against the Earth Federation all around the world, and the Phantom Sweet Corps are responsible for countering these guerrilla attacks, most notably against the Invisible Knights, the number 6 on our list. Number 6 is a 9-member group called the Invisible Knights. Featured in the Gundam video game Battlefield Record Universal Century 0081, the Invisible Knights are part of a larger organizing Xeon Remnant organization left on Earth during and after Xeon's defeat in the One Year War. This organization suddenly rejects the defeat of Xeon and seeks the restoration of Xeon autonomy through covert operation against Earth Federation forces. Number 7 is probably the closest we'll see a Gundam Elite Task Force mirrors something that of real-life Navy SEALs. The ECOAS, better known as Earth Colony Asteroid, is a special task force established by Earth Federation forces after the Second Neo-Zeon War. Much like the Navy SEALs in real life, their activities cover a broad range of military necessities and requirements. They are also guaranteed special rights, with much of their work being classified within the Federation organization. The ECOAS were primarily responsible for exposing and mopping up Neo-Zeon Remnant forces. However, they are mostly known to Gundam fans for being involved in the rescue and capture of Laplace's box, Venager Lynx, and the Unicorn Gundam. Number 8. Who can forget about the OG of the OG teams, the Black Tri-Stars? This special three-man team all consists of some of Zeon's first ace pilots. The Tri-Stars contributed to Xeon's greatest military achievements such as the astounding victory at the Battle of Loom, the capture of General Revel, and the destruction of an entire Federation reconnaissance fleet near Abalakiu. 
This trio also had their own unique tactical maneuver dubbed the Jet Stream Attack, in which, at high speeds, the trio would line up behind each other and form a simultaneously lethal triple assault with two range and one melee weapon. The Tri-Stars would eventually meet their demise at the hands of an upcoming Federation ace pilot, Ray Amaro. Number 9 is a special unit formed of Xeon's top ace pilots who were all handpicked by Cecilia Zabi called the Chimera Corps. This 31-man team is featured in Mobile Suit Gundam Variations and also Mobile Suit Variations The Return of Johnny Ryden. Not much is known about this unit's early history, but it is widely known that this group did participate at the Battle of Solomon and consists of Xeon's top ace pilots such as Bernice Ox, Johnny Ryden, and Thomas Kurtz. In addition, these pilots all had first dibs on the Gelgoog far earlier than any Xeon unit. Chimera's official records were mostly erased by Xeon near the end of the One Year War, and most of the members were captured by Federation forces after the fall of Abal-Q. Finally, number 10 is another Xeon Special Forces unit called the Midnight Fenrir Corps. This is a 10-man Covert Ops Special Forces unit featured in the Gundam video game Xeonic Front. The Midnight Fenrir Corps contributed to impactful Xeon wins during Xeon's initial Earth invasion. They were responsible for the capture of Earth Federation's California base, they conducted very successful raids on Federation territories in North America, and contributed to the Battle of Seattle. Despite this group's participation and contribution, it was not enough to tip the war in Xeon's favor on Earth. Eventually, Xeon was forced to abandon their Earth campaign and retreat back into space. The Corps stayed behind on Earth to cover Xeon's retreat and eventually joined with Xeon Remnant forces in Australia. And that's all I have for this video. Let me know if I'm missing any organization or if I got anything wrong by posting in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.